Cinderella Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful girl called Cinderella. She lived with her wicked stepmother and her two ugly, horrid stepsisters. They were so horrid they made her their servant, and she even slept in the fireplace amongst the cinders. This is why they called her Cinderella. One day, she was cleaning the house and scrubbing the floors with only the mice and a little brown dog for company. Suddenly, Cinderella heard a knock at the door. It was a messenger from the royal palace. Prince Charming was having a ball to find himself a bride. Cinderella was very excited. Surely her stepmother and stepsisters would let her go. So Cinderella asked, Stepmother, can I go to the ball? Her wicked stepmother replied, Ha! You will not go to the ball. You will stay with the mice and the cinders where you belong. Cinderella went back to the fireplace, and she cried. As she was sitting amongst the cinders, she saw a brilliant flash of light. Cinderella wiped away her tears to see a most beautiful lady. Who are you? asked Cinderella. I am your fairy godmother, she replied. And you shall go to the ball, Cinderella. Cinderella watched in wonder as her fairy godmother gathered four mice and with a wave of her magic wand transformed them into four magnificent white horses. She then waved her wand over the little brown dog, which magically became a gallant coachman. She took a pumpkin from the shelf, and with a wave of her wand, the pumpkin became a gleaming golden carriage. Finally, the fairy godmother told Cinderella to close her eyes. She waved her magic wand, and when Cinderella opened her eyes, she was no longer wearing rags, but a beautiful gown of silk, with slippers made completely of glass. Cinderella was so happy, and she thanked her wonderful fairy godmother. Cinderella, you must be sure to return home before the strike of midnight. For at this time, the magical spell will end, and everything will return to the way it was, said her fairy godmother. Cinderella promised she would, and she waved from the carriage window as she went on her way to the ball. When Cinderella arrived at the ball, Prince Charming was immediately enchanted by her. Never had he seen a girl of such beauty. They danced and laughed all night, and Cinderella was enjoying herself so much, she completely forgot what time it was, until she heard the first strike of midnight. Oh no, she cried, as she fled from the palace and down the steps. The prince followed after her, but he couldn't find the beautiful girl he'd danced with. All that remained was a single glass slipper on the steps. Cinderella ran home as her clothes turned to rags, and on the last stroke of midnight the spell was broken. In the days that followed, the prince searched his kingdom for the owner of the glass slipper, but it did not fit anyone who tried. He finally arrived at the home of Cinderella, but found her ugly stepsisters, who also tried and tried to squeeze their foot into it. When the prince caught sight of Cinderella, he asked her to try on the delicate glass slipper. Cinderella did as he asked, and it fit her perfectly as she knew it would. Cinderella and Prince Charming were married the very next day, and they lived happily ever after.